the Bureau of the Frontier Science and Education of China, Dr. Yu Lu, here to the meeting this afternoon. And I would like to greet Mr. Yue Liang Wu, academician from the University of the CAS. As President Xi pointed out that science and technology are great creative activity of the mankind. Basic science and research of the fundamental importance to scientific and technological innovation. Mr. C is calling for effort to strengthen the international cooperation, integrate into the global innovation network and enhance the capability for the scientific and the technology innovation through open cooperation. In this meeting, I hope we can get detailed information of the IYB SSD 2022 and the IBSP and established an expert group and a related network to connect with some proposed activity toward IYB SSD 2022 in China in the future. The time is now to reflect on one question. Today, the COVID-19 pandemic lead the world into a new reality. International cooperation in science and technology is a general trend of the times. How can we recognize the invest basic science to secure a sustainable and innovation future during and after the pandemic? I wish the meeting with the discussion be successful. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you. Thank you, our DGT of the International Conversion Bureau. And uh, uh, Monsieur, Monsieur Michel. Thank you very much. It's a great honor for me to, be, uh, to, to, to have been invited to present uh, IYBSSD to you uh, this morning. Uh, I will show you some slides that I prepared. So can I share the screen with sure. you? Yeah, thank you. Uh, but there is already a slide, so I, I am not sure that uh, I will succeed. I will try. Yes, there, there is already a slide. Which you, can, can you unshare? the slide which is on the screen presently. Okay, perfect. It will work, it will work now. Uh, so let me find the presentation. Here it is. Uh, okay. Can you see it? Yeah. Yes. Okay, so this is the first slide. Uh, it, I will put it in a diaporama. Okay, so uh, let me uh, present me myself. I am presently president of IUPAPS, the International Union of Pure and Applied Physics. And as you know, I am the chair of the steering committee for the proclamation of an international year of basic sciences for sustainable development in 2022, what we call IYBSSD 2022. So uh, we, we got, uh, uh, since uh, the ID came uh, about two years ago, we get uh, a number of, of support. Here you can see the logo of many international unions and uh, research centers and uh, or international organizations, which were uh, the founding uh, institutions to start the project. Uh, we have a website that you can see uh, uh, at the bottom on the right. Uh, www.iybssd.org. Basically, the support as it is now, we got, we got about uh, the uh, formal uh, involvement of about 30 active international unions and organizations constituting the steering committee. We got uh, letters of support from uh, about 40 academies. Uh, we got the support uh, uh, by uh, uh, email from 25 Nobel laureates in all fields of uh, sciences, from uh, mathematics to life sciences. Uh, we got uh, the recommendation, uh, I will come back to that, uh, by UNESCO, by the World Science Forum, and more recently by the Interparliamentary Union. We are still lacking the proclamation by the UN uh, General Assembly, uh, which is a hot issue because due to the COVID-19, this uh, General Assembly uh, has, has a very restricted agenda 
I will give that success so far to get into it. So uh, let me go quickly through the rationale. Uh, I'm sure this is a useful reminder because you, you know the main reasons for that. Uh, so although it is generally recognized that science is useful for uh, society, quite often basic sciences, curiosity driven, are not considered as they should deserve in the discussions concerning the societal, environmental, and economic development. Ah, I have some difficulty to get into it. After the International Year of Physics, the International Year of Chemistry, the International Year of Mathematics, the International Year of Astronomy, of Crystallography, of Light, of the Periodic Table of Elements, it is time to plan uh, an international year of basic sciences for, for development. Basic sciences, curiosity driven, construct the pool of knowledge which future generations will use for their development. So this is a, uh, a guarantee of, a, of sustainability. Second slide on the rational. 2022 would be a good time to celebrate basic sciences for development. This is a centenary of many international unions, not only IUPAP, there are many, many. Uh, it's also, uh, we could uh, celebrate a quantum century, century the uh, quantum, uh, qu qu quantum uh, sciences uh, started in, uh, around 1922, quantum physics. Uh, it fits very well with the UNESCO and UN agenda, uh, so uh, with sustainable goals agenda. You know that the agenda was from 2015 to 2030. 2022 is right in the middle. And uh, we have many examples of how much uh, uh, basic sciences, fundamental discoveries, serendipitous discoveries contributed to, to development. The web was born at CERN from the needs of global collaboration for fundamental science. It was not at all anticipated that it would have such an impact. The success of Google, the second largest company in the world, comes from a brilliant mathematical idea. Artificial intelligence relies on statistical methods and will have an influence on all aspects of society. Cellular phones comes from the discovery of transistors, integrated circuits, Wi-Fi, astronomy, spin-off developments, all basic sciences driven. GPS accuracy is a spin-off of gener Einstein general relativity. And who, who, who could have imagined that this uh, at this time? and the improvement in accuracy of atomic clocks based on quantum technology. The discovery of DNA as, as DNA as a revolutionized medicine. The genome project has opened the way to gene therapies. The development uh, of uh, uh, PET technology and MRI, te MRI technology uh, had many impacts uh, for health and development. The uh, rapid uptake of the generation and storage of renewable energy depends on advances in physics, chemistry, and mat material sciences, and this is not yet the end. Reduction in, pollu in pollution and green chemistry rely on basic advances in chemistry, and we need more advances, and so on. So it's a, it's a list just for uh, giving examples. I come back to support uh, for, for IYBSSD. I, 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 I said it already at the beginning, but I want to retrace the history. The proposal of 2022 as an international year of basic sciences for development as well received and got the oral and then formal support of the representatives of ICSU, the International Council for Science, IISSC, the International Social Sciences Council, now both merged. merged. This is now the ISC, International Science Council. The initial steering committee, as I said, is composed of many uh, international unions and uh, research centers and uh, international organizations. Uh, the proposal uh, to, um, to, 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 to have this uh, International Year of Basic Sciences for UNESCO was very much uh, supported uh, by uh, uh, Jordan first which brought the, the project to, 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 for UNESCO approval. Uh, it was uh, supported by Nigeria, Russia, and Vietnam. 
It was also discussed with the director at UNESCO of Science Policy and Capacity Building, the executive secretary of IBSP. Uh, all were very, IBSP was very supportive of the initiative. I hope that Ahmed can confirm that later. Uh, IBSP is giving its support to this initiative from the very beginning. In fact, the ID was first presented to IBSP in uh, January uh, uh, 2018, if I remember well. The, <coughs> the resolution for the proclamation of an international year of basic sciences for sustainable development in 2022 was unanimously adopted by the UNESCO Executive Board in October 2019, and then consequently by the uh, UNESCO General Conference in November 2019. As I said, it was recommended strongly by the World Science Forum in 2019 uh, in Budapest, and now by the Interparliamentary Union. It will have to be proclaimed by the United Nations General Assembly. Tentative list of topics which could be covered during this international year. Uh, advocate uh, basic sciences as a unique tool for multi multicultural dialogue. Basic sciences uh, are very much connected to education and uh, human development. Basic sciences uh, and women, uh, we have to advocate uh, the figures, uh, trying to empower, to more empower women in basic sciences and uh, uh, show the role models of uh, many uh, uh, Lead, leading figure in science, uh, women leading figure in science. Uh, basic sciences, innovation and economy, this is a triangle. Basic sciences, health and life sciences, especially now with, with the COVID-19 pandemic, we can illustrate how much basic sciences are crucial for health and life sciences. <coughs> And more generally speaking, basic sciences and global challenges, climate, biodiversity, and so on. We have to uh, uh, make clear that by basic sciences are a global public good. And as I said, each generation increase this public good for the benefit of future generations. Again, uh, I, made, I made already the point, basic sciences are very much connected to the Sustainable Development Goal agenda. So some events, certainly we will start with the inauguration ceremony at UNESCO, as it is uh, uh, the, the rule for uh, past uh, international years, and I hope it will be like that. Like that. Uh, we plan to celebrate, uh, uh, here I think for, for my own international union, uh, we will uh, celebrate the centenary of IUPAP in Geneva, and this can be a pillar event of IUIBSSD, but uh, there will be many other events like that. We would like very much to use the International Science Council regional offices and the UNESCO centers to organize the big events. China could, could play a major role, and I would be a volunteer to, with you to organize a big event in China which is now a major player in basic sciences. Uh, the IYBSSD 2022 events could be global, but they could be regional, they could be national in developed and in developing countries. We have to foresee some centralized funding to help, especially, especially to attend the events. I will have a slide on, on, on this at the end. Some possible resulting actions. Certainly, we will plead for uh, more open access, uh, open science, speci especially for basic sciences where patents are not so much uh, relevant. And uh, we have still to, to recognize the uh, intellectual property, but we can uh, do a lot uh, on open access publishing for all research papers connected to fundamental research, curiosity driven. This will allow free access to university to all published material in, in basic sciences. And we, we can imagine also a, a joint uh, open innovation resulting from, a, from a basic sciences. More generally, so I, I said general, more generally prom promote open science in all basic sciences, trying to connect, uh, to be inclusive, not only geographically, but also with uh, 
uh, associations and with uh, the firms' companies. Promote inclusive collaborations in fundamental research, teams from developed countries together with teams from developing countries, gender balance. Organize top level international scientific or educational events in developing countries with many side events. International scientific unions should be mobilized for that purpose. Promote training and education to basic sciences in developing countries. And now I come to, close to the end, the, the steps. So 2018, the formal uh, recommendation by IBSP, this was in January 2018. This is done, obviously. 2019, as I said, formal approval by the General Conference of UNESCO, November, this was done. And now the circle of, of unions, partners, and academies. We have now many more. And we have also Nobel laureates, I should say, at the very beginning. And we are there now, 2020, 20, approval by the UN General Assembly. Uh, we hope to, to, add, to, add it, to have it uh, before December, but we need a, a, a country to bring it in the, in the agenda of the uh, United Nations. We have many countries willing to do that, but so far, due to the restricted UN uh, General Assembly agenda this year, because of the pandemic, we did not succeed. I don't know if, if China could help. If we don't, don't succeed uh, this time, uh, we will have to uh, come back uh, uh, in uh, September 2021 for the General Assembly of 2021. But we, we, you see that if we get the approval by the end of 2021, we are uh, short of time to organize it uh, starting in, in January 2022, and especially getting uh, companies uh, sponsorship, which generally uh, wait before uh, the they, they get involved, they, they wait for the, uh, for the formal uh, proclamation by the uh, UN General Assembly. So a possibility would be to, due to the exceptional circumstances of the COVID-19, to ask for an international year uh, overlapping from, uh, from uh, uh, summer or fall 2022 to summer and fall 2023, or to move it uh, rightly uh, to, uh, to 2023. We will have to, if we did not succeed to get it approved this time, we will have uh, to discuss this in 2021, whether we should move it uh, uh, from uh, mid-2022 to mid-2023 or move it to 2023. Uh, so again, uh, 2021, we would like to have a detailed preparation of regional and international events. And uh, without the approval, formal approval of the UNJ, we can still uh, use the uh, UNESCO formal approval, but uh, to start, but uh, we will lack, be lacking of time if we don't get the approval this time. I don't know if China can be decisive to get it approved uh, in the UN General Assembly. This would be really great. And the Chinese Academy of Sciences could help very much for that. Uh, next slide. So uh, I mentioned that many countries are, are ready to support it. But uh, they are, they are, they are <coughs> not the class to bring it to the agenda this time uh, because of the restricted nature of the agenda. Only China could do that, I think. Uh, so the support is coming from Jordan, from Vietnam, from Russia, from Senegal, from South Africa, from Montenegro, from the Dominican Republic. But we need China. Uh, we mentioned the budget for uh, the preparation of uh, IYBSSD. Uh, mostly to be spent in 2021. Uh, already, uh, always, also, we, we spent already some part of the budget. We got uh, funding from the unions. So publicity material, uh, lobbying, uh, seed funds to initiate events, and uh, try to uh, collect statistics, uh, which could be advertised in 2022 on how much basic sciences contributed to major uh, rupture innovation which changed uh, the world. And finally, uh, last slide. Again, we count on you, on you all, and especially the China, Chinese Academy of Sciences uh, for all that. Thank you very much. This is uh, the end of my presentation. I will unshare the screen. Thank you, Michel. Uh, thank you, Professor Michel. Thank you so much. Give us uh, much more information about the International Year. And we have uh, taken note about your uh, 
the topics, events, and suggestions. Uh, we will have a discussion about your suggestions um, this afternoon. And uh, especially, uh, thank you so much. Give us, give us progress of your pro operation of this international year. And uh, our next speak uh, is from uh, UNESCO, uh, Mr. Ahed Bami, and will give our introduction, our introduction about IBS.